Be nice. So anyway, there's this view over here I really want you to see. So I'm beginning to think that you're not really looking for an apartment. Why? What do you think? I'm just uh, using this as an excuse to uh, flirt with you? Are you flirting with me? I was hoping it was kind of obvious, but I guess I'm not doing that good a job. But you did say you were married, I think, right? Yeah. Well, that sucks. I mean, I shouldn't be flirting with you if you're married. No, you shouldn't. So. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I should get going. Yeah. I got to get back to the office. Uh, but if I see anything, I'll call you. Yeah, no, because, you know. All right. OK, bye. Call me, though. So, I am going out with the guy from the video store again tonight. Oh, second date. Pressure's on. So, you gonna have sex with him? I don't know. What? Do you think I should? No, I definitely think you should. But this time, I give him a little advice. No more cologne on the balls. <laughs> it's true. Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> no, uh, it was disgusting. <laughs> How many sexual partners have you had in your life? Not entirely enough. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. Right now, that's what I'm working on. I think it's seven? Eight. Is that bad? I'm 19. <laughs> that sounds really bad. What are you kidding me? I don't know. I'm 39. I'm a 39 year old man. I mean, I, I, how can I possibly remember? I don't know. 100, 250? I don't know. I mean, you know. But that, that's a great thing about New York. You walk down the street. Right, and you encounter uh, like a, a thousand potential sexual partners every day. You know, a walk to the deli can be very erotic. Um, well, I know it sounds pathetic, but uh, I've had three. I mean, I got married early. I was like 22 years old. But, um, you know, one of them was, you know, is my husband. Not too many. I don't know, like, you know, nine or ten. Is, uh, you know, I was always one of those guys that kind of just been in a series of long-term relationships. So, uh... I never really had the opportunity to put up, you know, the big numbers. 17, but, you know, what, there was no one-night stands or anything. I just dated a lot, so. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's the greeting they get now? If I find you outside of my door, yes. What are you doing here? Uh, it's not like I'm stalking you or something. Yes, it is. I can't find my keys. I gave you a spare set of, for, for emergencies like this. Okay, hold on, I'll get them for you. I should have seen that coming. Can you introduce me to your, your new friend here? <clears throat> Tommy, this is my ex-husband, Benjamin. Ben, this is Tommy. How you doing, man? I'm doing, I'm good. I'm good. It's a nice jacket. Yeah, Can nice. I talk to you for a second in private? No. Oh, yeah, come on, this is very important. No. I mean, I really, we have some talking to do. No, you must have me confused with someone who thinks they have to explain themselves to you. Will no. You, will, will you give us a second here in private? So should be right back. No, like, Benjamin, no. Should be right if you back. want to talk to me, we can do it out here. Otherwise, I'll go get your keys and you can call me in the morning. Well, I'll wait out here. Tommy, would you like to come inside? No, you know what? I'll wait out here with my, uh, my pal. You have to know. Fine. So, uh, where are you, uh, where are you located? I'll call you tomorrow. You're welcome, Benjamin. Oh, thanks. I'm so sorry. diseases that I should know about, right? No. What, you got any diseases I should know about? No. Are you sure? I swear. Are you sure? Yeah, no, I'm sure. I mean, I just had a test. Mm. That's good. You know, you really should have thought to bring a condom, though. Yeah, look, I'm sorry, you know, I just... It was only the second date. I really didn't honestly think, you know, we'd get this far. Yeah. I'm really sorry to have to hurry you like this this morning, but I've really got to get to work. What do you mean you got to get to work? I thought you said you were a school teacher. Yeah, so? 
Yeah, well, today's Sunday, right? Yeah, well, <clears throat> you know, I have to get, um, I'm taking a class on a school trip, and we're going to the zoo, so. Huh. Why don't you take this one, and I'll wait for the next one. No, 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 I can't do that. You, you said you gotta get to work, right, so. No, don't worry about it. Oh, come on, you got the kids waiting, right? I'll get the next one. All right, I'll see you around. With Maria, you know, I don't, you know, I quite honestly, I don't know what happened. Went out a couple of times. I thought we had a good time. I mean, I mean, obviously we must have. I mean, you know, we had sex the second time we went out. I think I just got a little freaked out sleeping with another guy. I mean, it's not like I didn't like him or anything. It's just that I hadn't slept with anyone since Benjamin. It just got me a little scared. I don't know. After that, you know, she tried to, like, kick me out of the house, it seemed, the next morning. I called her a bunch of times. She never called me back. You know, I guess I got the hint and stopped calling. How did you feel when you saw Maria and Tommy together? Oh, my pal? My pal Tommy. Yeah. Ah, it's terrible. She, she let a guy like that into our home. That, you know, that's the apartment I shared with her. To think that that guy was showering under the shower head that I installed makes me very angry. You actually pay attention to your horoscope? Every day. I read it every day. It's actually pretty accurate. Accurate? In what, in what way? Well, it keys me into what to watch out for in life, you know? It, why I may be feeling a particular way on a certain day. All right, what did today's tell you? Oh, it's all right. It said, yeah, right. You have had your fill of certain people make a clean break. There are, however, changes in the air. And a person in uniform could deliver the key to your love, life, and happiness. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. It says that? Yeah. Oh, that's me. Wow. That is me. No, that's me. I, I am the man in the uniform that, that can deliver the, the key to your love life and your happiness. Don't you know I wear a uniform? <laughs> Unless it's your mailman. What kind of relationship do you have with him? Her. So you don't have to worry. You know what? No, no, no. You said you don't buy into the whole astrology I thing, never, so therefore this does I, not apply to no, us. No, no, I never said that I oh, didn't Oh, yes, buy. you did. <laughs> I never said did. that I didn't buy into astrology. I said I was a little suspect of it. <laughs> what is this, the, the Daily News? Yeah. I'm sure it's a very accurate reading. It's good stuff. And it's, what does it say? That you should make a clean break. See that? What do you think about that part of it? Like I said, it helps me make decisions. How, how did you end up with this guy that you're with, anyway? How did you end up with this? The man is married. He's, de he's a dentist, right? He's, right? he's also 100 years old. So he's got three major strikes against him. In my eyes, three strikes, you're out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> no, it was just, it was really simple. I was just sitting in the park one day by school, and he came up to me, and he hit on me. Are you a model? If I were a model, why would I be sitting here studying right now? <laughs> That's very funny. Well, well, you should be if you're not, because you're very beautiful. You have a very different look. It's not a, I mean, you're not a classic beauty. I think you have the look of the new millennium. The look of the new millennium? Yeah. yeah. But you, you are kidding, No, right? no, I'm not kidding. I'm serious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think you do. Yeah. <laughs> look, Jimmy, you're very good. look at your nose. You have a beautiful nose. Beautiful. I had it fixed when I was 13. Really? They yeah. did a great job. Oh, a great job. Wonderful. I'm Griffin, by the way. Ashley. Nice to meet you, Ashley. Beautiful Hi. name. So, so what do you say? Thanks. Will you let me take you out sometime? Or? Are you married? Married? Why do you say yes. that? Where do you get that from, that I'm married? Because you have a ring on your finger? Isn't that a ring? Yeah, yeah. Well, technically, I'm married, yeah, but I'm, I'm not really married. Oh. No. I mean, we have an understanding. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so is this understanding between you and your wife, or you and your dick? <laughs> That's very funny.